Welcome or welcome back at C squared. In this video clip, we're going to construct a parallel line through a given line and a given point. For that reason, I'm going to use this website, geogebra.org. And on this website, you're going to find an app which is called Geometry. And in a moment, you'll notice we have two sides for this app the left side where we have the tools, and the right side where we have the uh, area where we can do the drawing. So I'm going to draw a line. By the way, this construction can do can be done on paper and pencil. Uh, drawing a line with a straight edge like me here, AB. I'm going to plot a point, which GeoGebra will call C. And now I want to draw a parallel lines through that line C, a parallel line with AB. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to draw this line, CA. But you can draw any other line that intersects the given line. And you notice we have an angle here, angle A, I'm going to call it. Uh, but probably the best way to call an angle will be, or later will be using three letters, C, A, B. And I'm going to construct an angle congruent with this angle A, but the only difference is going to have the vertex here at C. And if you look on my channel, I have that constru construction. You can check and find how I construct a congruent angle, or you can watch here. For that reason, I'm going to click here on more, and I'm going to go down here, and you have these two circles. First of all, I'm going to click on this one, and if you notice, they tell me, hey, give the center and the radius. So the center will be at A, the radius, I will make it uh, 4, and that is the circle. Now you notice we have two intersection points with uh, line AC and the line AB. I'm going to mark these two points, and GeoGebra called them uh, D and E. Let me move them. And also, I'm going to do the circle dash, just because it's a part of the construction. So I want the picture to be a little bit uh, uh, clear. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to grab the same circle, and I'm going to go in point C. And do you remember the radius was 4, so I'm going to do the same uh, radius. So remember, if you use a compass now, keep the compass. Keep the same opening and draw a circle through C. And you notice we have an intersection point, this one. This point, which GeoGebra call lit F, is the corresponding point for point D. So uh, let me make this circle dashed. I'm going to need to find the corresponding point for uh, point E. And for doing that, I'm going to go down here back to the circle. The only difference, I'm going to use now this third icon, compass. And I'm going to use that compass to measure the distance between D and E. And then I'm going to move and do the same here on point F, move that circle. And you notice we have an intersection point have an intersection point, which I'm going to call, uh, George Ibra will call it G. Uh, let me move it so you can see it. Let me make this circle dashed. Uh, and now we can grab this tool, the basic tool line, and draw this line, CG. CG is parallel of AB based on this construction. How can I check that? Uh, I can use this tool, which says measure an angle and I'm going to measure angles G C F which looks like it's 47 degrees of course you can get a different measure and I'm going to measure the other angle down here angle A like I call it at the beginning B A D and it should be 47 All right so that tells us these two lines are parallel lines because these two angles are corresponding angles and they are congruent. They have the same measure of 47 degrees. So these lines are congruent. Now we have a nice app here. If you want to play with it, you can play and move and you'll see it. You have the same story. You can move these points and so on. And also you can measure these angles, the other six angles and you notice the patterns you know for parallel lines. If you enjoyed this video clip, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.